Hi guys, now we are going to solve this nice radical problem square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of 4 plus 2 times root 3. This value we had to find it out. For that, consider this square alone. So we have 4 plus 2 times root 3 is equal to how will you write this? This is square root of this term we consider. So this is equal to square root of here we can uh, root 3 is there. So we write it to be a plus b the whole square form. Then our uh, simplification becomes easy. So here we can write this to be root 3 is there. So here we write this to be 4 plus 2 times root 3 root 1. Okay, if we write this to be the here 2a and this is our b and this 4 can be written as here 3 is there. So, you can write this to be 3 plus 1 plus 2 times root 3 root 1. Now, your a is equal to root 3 and b is equal to root 1 and here a squared is obviously 3 and b squared is obviously 1. So, you can write this to be square root of what is a? a is equal to root 3 plus uh, b is equal to square here root 1. Okay, root 1 can be the root 1 the whole square. Okay, root 1 the whole square or you have this square and square root get cancelled. So, we have a root 3 plus root 1. Uh, square root of 1 is again 1 itself. So, square root of 3 plus 1. This is the value of this. But we had to find out this problem. So, we have the given problem is equal to square root of 9 plus 4 times square root of 4 plus 2 times root 3 is equal to here square root of 9 plus 4 times this term, we just now find out the value which is equal to square root of 3 plus 1. Okay, square root of 3 plus 1. Now, we have to take this 4 inside. So, 9 plus uh, 4 times root 3 plus 4 times 4 times 1, you have 4. But you add these two terms, here it becomes uh, uh, 13, isn't it? So, you have 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 4 root 3 okay 13 plus 4 root 3 but here we have uh, uh, this 13 is there so we had to complete the square to get the answer for that what we had to do is 13 plus here this 4 can be written as root 4 root 4 okay 4 can be written as root 4 times root 4 into root 3 here you have this root 4 again can be written as square root of 4 is 2. So, 13 plus 2 times root 4. Here we have root 4 into root 3 you have that can be written as square root of 4 times 3. Okay. So, here this is equal to square root of 13 plus 2 times square root of 12 we have 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, and here we in the similar to this one, you write this term to be A and B you can write this to be root 1. Nothing wrong in this, isn't it? 1 is multiplied with this. So, this again, this 13 can be written as 12 plus 1, you can write it. Okay, so this value is equal to, this 13 can be written as 12 plus 1 plus, here we have 2 times root 12 root 1. So, we have uh, this term to be square root of 12 uh, in times square root of 1. Here you have 1. 2 is also there, isn't it? So, we have this one. Compare this now. This is our a and this is our b and a squared is 12, b squared is 1. So, this term can be written as square root of this year uh, uh, square root of 12 plus square root of 1 the whole square, isn't it? When you're squaring this, a squared you get 12, b squared you get 1, 2 times a, b, you get this term, okay? So, this square root and square get cancelled. 
so less square root of 1 or you have a square root of 12 plus square root of 1 is 1 itself and this is our you can write this to be 4 times 3 12 can be written as 4 times 3 plus 1 or you have a square root of 4 times a square root of 3 plus 1 or you can write this to be square root of 4 is 2 root 3 plus 1 this is our answer thanks for watching subscribe our channel for more videos thank